This is part two of a tutorial on how to make a knight chess piece. In this part of the tutorial, I'll make some final adjustments to the horse's head ready to connect it to the plinth. I'll connect it to the plinth, the base, and I'll also show you how you can make all quad faces to make a smoother mesh. Before I connect the head to the body, there's a few edits I want to make. The base wasn't level, so I'm selecting a back bottom edge. I'm going to go into front view. I'm going to press G to grab, followed by Z for the Z direction, and move that up so that there are no jaggers on the baseline. Now that's level. I'm going to go into face select mode and select the bottom face. Change the view to the right view. I'm going to make the base broader. I'm going to press S to scale, followed by Y for the Y direction, and make the base broader. And use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing. I'm going to go into object mode and apply the modifier. I'm going to go into quad view and in the top view press R to rotate and 90 and enter. In the object menu I'm going to apply that rotation. Now the model isn't centered. To fix that, object transform geometry to origin. In the view menu, toggle quad view. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to move the horse's head upwards to make room for the plinth. File, append. Go to the folder where the plinth is saved. Select the plinth file. Go into the object folder. The plinth was made from a cylinder. Select the cylinder and append. Shift and drag with the middle mouse button to pan. Select the horse's head, drag on the tip of the blue arrow until the head touches the base. Now, the base of a horse's head is oval and the top of the plinth is round, so you see quite a lot of the plinth. If you don't like that, go into edit mode. Press S to scale and X for the X direction and make the base more round. Back into object mode back into front view, drag on the tip of the blue arrow and bring it down so it touches the base. Always save before doing a join operation. I'm going to select the plinth, hold down shift and select the head and click the join button. In the properties window the head was made from the default cube. I'm going to name the joined object knight and I'm going to go to the material button. The default cube had the default material. I'm going to set the diffuse color to be very dark gray. So we have a black knight. If the largely computer generated mesh is not smooth enough for you, I'll show you how to make all quad faces. I'm going back to the outline and as before, I'm going to select, shift select and press F to make edge and we have four sides. I want to pair up vertices as I go upwards and I need to add a new vertex and the easiest way to do that is to click the subdivide button. Select the new vertex, hold down shift and select and press F. Select, shift select, press F. Select, shift select, the shortcut key for subdivide is W. Select the new vertex, shift select, press F. Select, shift select, F. Select, shift select, W. Select the new vertex, shift select, F. Select, shift select, F. Now we get to a more complicated part of the model, but I can see some relatively easy to make quads at the top. Select, shift select, F. And at the front, select, shift select, F. Select, shift select, F. I don't want this vertex, the easiest way to delete it is to shift select an adjacent and merge it, alt and M and merge at last. Now we've just got this big face to sort out. The procedure is to manually subdivide until we only have quad faces. I'm dividing the large face into two, but the top new top face still has five sides, so I'm going to divide that into two. I'm 
Now that has two quad faces, but the face below has five sides, so I'm going to divide that into two. And we're passing the problem down. I'll do one more. But we're going to have to carry that all the way down to the bottom. I've carried on to the bottom. To smooth the line that's been created, I'm going to use a new feature called Vertex Slide. Select a vertex, Shift and V, left click an edge and slide the vertex to where you want it. Select a vertex, Shift and V, left click an edge, slide the vertex. Now I'm ready to extrude, press A twice, F to fill, turn the background image off, go into the right view, E to extrude, point 0.7 and enter. Add the subdivision surface modifier and straight away we see that it subdivides nicely and as we increase the level of subdivision we get a very smooth mesh. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the night at various stages of completion for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.